All right, so now that .NET Nuke's ready and we've got portal aliases set up so, so that it'll be able to run both on our local host using our special port and also in our production environment, let's go ahead and use uh, WebMatrix to get set up here. So we're going to open up WebMatrix. We're going to click Site from Web Gallery. We're going to pick .NET Nuke. We're going to rename the site name. We're going to call it Upgrade Site. We're going to click Next. This is going to fire off. Um, Web matrix is going to go out there. It's going to download a version of .NET Nuke. It's going to create all this file and folder structure we need. It's also going to create that blank database. Once this is done, we're going to go ahead and tell it to connect to our production server. So we'll click OK. We're going to click Publish. We're going to go right down to Settings. In this dialog, we're going to want to make sure we pick Web Deploy. We're using Web Deploy because we want to use that to not just pull down our files, but also pull down our database. Uh, in the past, you would always publish using FTP, right? But you were limited in what you could do with FTP. Web Deploy, it'll actually go in, it'll do things like set file permissions for you, set the version of .NET or the version of PHP you need, it'll manage your, your SQL database or your MySQL database for you. So let's go ahead, we're going to put in all of our information here, our server, our username, our password, our site name, all that good stuff. We're going to click the Save Password button and then at the end, we're just going to validate connection and make sure we have all the right usernames in. So we'll put that in now. There's also an easier way here. Over on the right, you see where it says Import Publish Settings? If you signed up for one of our WebMatrix accounts, it came with a little attachment in the welcome email that was a .publish file. You just import that there, and you don't have to type any of this information in. It has it for you. So let's finish filling all this in real fast. We'll click Validate Connection. Everything looks good, so we're going to go ahead and click Save. Now we're going to go to Publish, and we're going to say Download Publish Site. We're going to tell it to go ahead and delete any local files that aren't on the remote server, and we're going to make sure we check where it says that SQL server, so it pulls down that SQL server too. Right now it's downloading all of our files, all of our images, everything for our .NET Nuke site, including our database. So we'll just let this run for a little bit. All right. So it's downloaded everything. We're going through the log here. We're making sure everything looks good. Um, log shows all the files that's pulled down. Make sure there's no errors. At the very bottom here, you see where it says Open SQL Connection? So that's actually steps where it went out and connected to your SQL database. Pulled down an exact copy of that SQL database and made a local copy for you here. So at this point, we actually have a local copy that's identical to everything we have out on the internet. 